exercise your child's mind and his body with some exploricize. We'll tell you all about it in just a little bit. Welcome back, everyone. Parents, if your child struggles with math and says it's just not as exciting as some of their other subjects, there may be a way to get them to fall in love with learning the subject. That's right. It's called Exploricize. It's a how-to DVD that you're watching right now, and it teaches kids math skills as they exercise. So they're working their minds and their muscles all at once. Carrie Shiner is the founder of Exploricize, and she's here to tell us more about it. Hi, Carrie. Hello. Thanks for having me. So, did was this something that was happening in your household? Did you have kids? Oh, I do. I have two amazing children, and I was noticing that they were sitting on the couch more. I wanted to get them up and exercising. And I'm very passionate about kids learning math at the same time, you know, and just having fun with it. That's the most important part. So how does this work exactly? Are you kind of going, you know, one plus one equals two kind of thing? Or how <laughs> this does... is a little bit more math facts. So when we exercise as adults, we're always counting one to ten reps, sets. Sure. So we just thought we'd make it more fun for kids and incorporate the math facts at the same time. So they're counting by odd numbers, even numbers, place value. When we do arm circles, we're learning about circles. We do triangle poses, we're learning about triangles. Just making it fun. And did you use your children as test subjects when you were putting this all together? Definitely. <laughs> did they help you come up with some of the exercises? They did, actually. In fact, they were part of our videos, so it made it a lot of fun to include them as part of our, our program. Now, are, are they super smart brainiacs, or are, are they struggling in math, too? You know, and, and this actually helped them. Actually, my son is very bright and creative. Both of them are, but they were starting to watch a little too much TV. We wanted to get them up off the couch, and we want them to have fun learning. Okay. And that was really the passion, is making kids have fun while they're exercising. Well, let's okay. have a little fun and learn a few things at the same time. I'm ready for sure. All okay, right, so put us through our paces. Okay, well, first we're going to be doing some with our odd numbers and our even numbers. And in the video, we do leg, uh, knee lifts to that. Uh -huh. So okay. we're going to just start with our odd numbers. We're going to go one, one whoops. three, five, seven. seven. Nine, Nine. 11. eleven. Look at that. I'm on 13, a little delay. 15, yeah. <laughs> I'm on a little delay. Too. Nineteen. Now we're gonna do our even numbers. We're gonna do two, two. four. I keep doing six, the wrong leg. Eight, eight ten, ten, twelve. 12 14, 14, 16, 16 18, 18, 20. Okay, what kind of age range? Oh, using well, this. we said children as young as age three and four really enjoy the exercise routine, but the math effects targets a little bit more in the five to eight age group. I think, I, get him, yeah. I think I'd like to have this because I do tend to spend a little too much time on the couch and I, anything to get up and do a little moving. And get you moving and I can imagine it helps a lot of kids. You know, I mean, we have such high obesity rates right oh, now boy. too. This is such a good way to get kids off the couch learning and, and retaining the information too because they're having fun you know, enjoying it while they're doing Definitely. it. Definitely. There's actually a lot of scientific research that shows that exercise actually helps kids learn the information better. So it's really a great tool to get kids up off the couch, get them more physical activity, and have fun while they're doing it. Get, just some, don't, get some blood moving to the brain. Yeah, just don't eat a big lunch before you do it. <laughs> Let's do another one. Let's do another one. Okay, great. Well, we're going to do our arm circles. Oh, in the movie, oh okay. Should we spread up the heart? We might need a little okay. extra room. Got it. So our shoulder is the center point of the circle, our arm is the radius, and our fingertips are going to make the circumference. So as we're doing our arm circles, we're making the circumference of the circle. Circumference! Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. We're does, learning about circumference. Exactly. Does it help to say it a lot while you're doing it? <laughs> well, usually when you're doing the video, you'll see it on the screen so the kids can watch it on the screen as we're doing it and they'll see the information. So there's visual, auditory, and kinesthetic learning all at the same time. Cool. It's pretty good. Yeah, it does actually. You know, feel actually, good. it's great for families. You can do it all as a family together especially for families that have children of different ages. It's quality screen time for everybody. Cool. Wonderful. Okay, well, Carrie Shiner, thank you very much. Oh, thank you so much for having me. Two, four, six, eight. Well, Who do we appreciate? <laughs> <website> <laughs> thank you. Online. <laughs> TV. We'll be right back. <laughs>